Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the mess behind me. My dining room is my I need to unpack room. Um, I keep all of the boxes and stuff in here that I still need to unpack from moving in. But I'm pretty proud of myself because this is the only stuff I have left and I've unpacked everything else. So props to me for that. But this room has really great lighting. So I am going to be doing my haul in here. And if you don't follow me on social media, you're probably confused because I did announce this on Instagram. I didn't announce what animal it was because I like you guys to guess. Um, but I get asked all the time to make hamster videos. I haven't owned a hamster in a couple years. Um, I used to have a Syrian hamster. His name was Haru. I loved him. He was the best, but I did get him from a pet store, which I don't support doing. I was pretty uneducated about that um, a couple years ago. Um, and I really educated myself now to know that that is not okay. But I got him from a pet store and they didn't really know how old he was. And once I took him to the vet, they told me that he was a lot older than they said he was. They said that he was like six months old when he was actually like a year and a half. I had him for about seven to eight months and then he just passed away in his sleep. Vet said it was most likely to old age. I'm not sure, um, but he was from a pet store so he probably had really bad genetics anyway. I mourned his death for a while. And then, and then as many of you guys know, I rescued a mouse named Dale. Um, from a friend who needed to rehome him. The little old man, he passed away a couple months ago and uh, I, it, I took it really hard. Um, I really had a strong connection to that mouse. I didn't think that I would get another hamster or mouse anytime soon, really. Um, you know, I always said if, if something comes up and it's something that I feel like I can take on, then I would take on. But I got sent this Craigslist ad with a little dwarf hamster and the picture looked exactly like the picture that I took of Dale. And I literally was like, my heart literally exploded. And I was like, I need to take this dwarf hamster. It reminds me of Dale. I'm very excited. My boyfriend's excited as well because he loved Dale. So I've never had a dwarf hamster, but I have had a Syrian hamster and a mouse. Um, I know their care is a little bit different, but I didn't really need to buy all this extra stuff. I actually have an Ikea Detolf and other hamster stuff that I could have used, but the Ikea Detolf has kind of been through it. It's been a couple years. I don't have a lid for it. And I also just wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, maybe I'll use the Detolf again in the future, but for right now, it's been turned into an actual shelf. So I bought some stuff just for fun to use for this new hamster. Um, and then I'm also going to be using some old stuff as well, like the wheels that I had and all of that. And I also have a lot of the bedding and all of that stuff that I already have. So I didn't really need to buy too much extra, but you guys know I'm really extra. I should probably stop talking now. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory. This is going to be the haul video. Next video you see is going to be me building and making the bin cage and also going to get her. I get her on Saturday, two days from now. The first thing I have is hard wire cloth, like chicken wire. This is going to be going on the lid when I cut a square through the top. So the hamster has ventilation. I got this from Home Depot. Also, I got this bin from Home Depot. This is a 50 gallon Sterilite bin. Also, 200 quarts is equal to 50 gallons. Like if you had a 50 gallon tank, it's really big. I got the last one in stock, thank God. I got this from Home Depot as well. Um, this is really big and it was only like $25 for how big it is, of course, because if you bought like a 50 gallon tank, it would be way more expensive than that. All right, let's open the next box. So I want to try to do more of a naturalistic theme the best that I can. There's still some stuff I would like to do and I would like to do more research on naturalistic cages, but I tried to buy things that weren't very colorful and were more like natural themed. Okay, so this right here is actually where I'm going to put the sand for the sand bath. I thought it was really cool. To keep on a budget, I could have just used like a plastic Tupperware or glass bowl or something that I had. But what I really liked about this is like this bottom part is like this acrylic and then you put this on it like this and you can pour the sand in there. And this little hole up here, they also have like a little food bowl that you can set up there and use if you wanted to. Pour all of the sand in here and since this lid is on it, it keeps it a lot neater and it makes the sand not go absolutely everywhere and it'll be really easy to spot clean in here as well and easy just to dump it all. I really liked that idea. I wish I had this when I had my Syrian hamster, but it's pretty cool. Next, we have this little buildable naturalistic wood. It said on the listing that it was made out of like fruit wood, like apple wood, which is safe. It basically is like a little wooden platform and then these little like wooden logs and these little like, stepping stools just screw into it. And it's basically like a little thing that the hamster can walk across. I thought it was really cool. Um, I don't know if it'll work super well, 
but I mean, it doesn't hurt to try and it's just so cute. Like I said, I'm going for a naturalistic theme mixed with like a cottage core theme. So I have these cute little like fairy garden figures and stuff that I'm going to put inside of there just to make it like really woodsy and make it look really nice. Over time, I'm gonna try to make it look better. But for right now, it's going to have a little bit of a woodsy theme. And then the next thing from Amazon is just this big wooden platform. Um, it actually would be like this. And then there's the legs right here. They're pretty tall. So I figured I would use this platform to put the wheel on so the wheel doesn't get stuck in the bedding. Um, hopefully it works out that way. Like hopefully, I don't know. We'll have to see because this is pretty tall, but not tall for like a wheel and this. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I wanted to get this platform just to kind of put stuff on, kind of make a nice little playground for her. And then lastly, I got this like wooden log hide thing. It's like a little tunnel. Dwarf hamsters are pretty small. I mean, they're almost as small as mice. So she'll definitely fit through this. This would definitely not fit a Syrian hamster though, I would say. Maybe a smaller one, but I know my Syrian hamster that I had would not fit through this. So it's really nice and natural looking, uh, really nice quality. It's that's all the stuff I got from Amazon. And now I got some stuff from Chewy. I'll have links for everything down below. I am now a Chewy affiliate. So if you guys ever use my Chewy links, I do get a commission, which means I can buy more stuff for my animals, which means you guys get more haul videos. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. So just to let you guys know, I'm a Chewy affiliate and I'm so happy about it. It's really heavy. Oh my God. Okay, so first I got this little cute hamster bowl. I plan on doing scatter feeding, but normally I do keep a little bit of food inside of a food bowl just to make sure that they're eating. Cause sometimes when you scatter feed them, you don't always know if they're eating it or not, just for health reasons. So I probably will put a little bit in here or maybe a little bit of water. So she has a water bowl. Um, I don't really know what she's used to yet, but I know Dale, my mouse really liked water bowls. So, I mean, it was purple and it has little hamsters on it. Like I love it. Next we have the food. This is the sunburst hamster and gerbil food. And then I also got these Missouri rat and mouse diet blocks. This is the same thing I fed my Syrian hamster. Um, I read online that this was a good combo to do. If you have any other recommendations, definitely let me know. This is also similar to what I fed Dale. And I'm just gonna mix the two together in a container. Um, probably break these blocks in half because these Missouri blocks are really big. Yeah, this has protected probiotics, balanced omega-3 and 6, and no artificial flavors and preservatives. And the colors are sourced from seeds, spices, and vegetables. So I read that this brand is the most like naturalistic and best when it comes to like probiotics and all of that stuff. There were a couple other brands that I was thinking about buying, but I figured I would go with what I've used before. Bought this water bottle. This is the same brand that I use for my rats. What I like about it is that it screws in. So what I'm planning on doing is drilling a hole into the side of the bin so I can just stick the little nozzle in. And I bought this bag of Katie Food from the Wild Nature Foraging Blend. So you can see the ingredients are literally just dehydrated carrot, pumpkin seed, peanuts, dried rose petal, sunflower seed, puff barley, and puff wheat. Um, I read that all of these things were fine. I know a lot of people really like this type of brand, like I've seen it online. So I don't know, I will look it up again just to make sure. But when I was looking it up, it seemed like everything was fine. And then lastly, I just got some Reptisan for the sand bath, just because that's what I could get right now. Because she's pretty tiny, I know this bag will last me a while. It's just Reptisan, it doesn't have calcium in it, it doesn't have anything extra. It's literally just white sand. Make sure to never use calcium sand or things that have like added colors or anything like that. Just do natural white sand. I know a lot of people use just like children's play sand from like Home Depot and they bake it in the oven. Um, that's cheaper if you want a super big bag, but this will last me quite a while. Yeah, this was my little hamster haul. Like I said, I already have a wheel and bedding and all of that fun stuff, but I wanted to buy some extras and also buy some more food because the food that I had was pretty old. I didn't want to give old food. I've already decided her name and I have a bunch of pictures of her on my Patreon already. So if you don't want to wait, the adoption video will be out. I don't know when the adoption video is going to be out, probably in another week. 
So if you don't want to wait, I do have a Patreon. You can support me on there. I have exclusive behind the scenes videos, pictures, exclusive videos. I'm posting a video on there on how I make my guinea pig liners and stuff like that. So there's a lot of fun stuff over there if you'd like to support me. I also recently opened my animal related Etsy shop where I make digital drawings of your animals. So if you wanna check that out, my Etsy shop will be down below. Also, all of my social medias will be down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.